Hi, welcome for our RTL online trainings and placements. In Oracle Cloud, human capital management, whenever we are implementing global HR module, we'll be configuring the document of records when the organization wants to maintain the repository for their employees' uh, documents, digital live repository, then we will be configuring the DOR. We call it as a DOR, document of records. About this DOR, I have already done one uh, video here, document of records. I have done this video here. If you search RTL online training document of records, you will get it from here. I think I given the name as uh, document of records. Yes. So I have already explained how it can be configured. I have taken an example and I have done that. You can go through that to maintain the document of records uh, information. Okay. So here, in this session, actually, in one of our interview last two days back, which we, our student who has attended, they were asking, like, uh, can we archive this particular document of records after some time? For example, every six months, we wanted to take the archiving option. If say yes, where do you configure that setup? And uh, if at all we want to build any report, be a report, which table we can get this archive documents information. That, that's the question we have faced. So uh, if you are new to the document of records, you can go through this video. And uh, if you are already know that, uh, you can go to the front end FSM environment document types. We can configure the archiving setups while creating document type itself. We have that option. So let's go for here. So uh, this document type we can define at person level or assignment level. What type of documents you are trying to deposit? maintain the repository, whether you want uh, approvals or not, approvals required or not. How about multiple occurrences? This is all we have seen in that video. You can go through. There is a tab here in the document record preferences. Uh, generally, we'll try to keep these fields. Attributes are nothing but fields, whatever we wanted to show. And uh, we have restrict options also, restrict settings. Uh, whether you wanted to go for any restriction on creation, update and delete and archive settings this is the tab where we will set the archive settings here and archive criteria based uh, when you want to go for take let's say last six months from the date of document from the issued date on or to date or from the document creation date so from which date you would like to go for take so archive every 120 days let's say we are going to specify once the document is created every 120 days system will take the archiving parsing is nothing but deletion after let's say 500 days we wanted to go for delete the record from the database permanently so some companies will maintain archiving for some time after that let's say the relieving letters are experienced letters so they want they don't want to maintain the track after five six years uh, then they can keep it as an uh, archive or they can go for delete. It's up to the client requirements. So we need to go for configure, but it's not mandatory. See, parsing is not mandatory because the organization wants to maintain always documents. That's why it is optional. But archive after days, uh, after some time, the documents will be archived. So if at all we want to go for, uh, you know, uh, maintain the uh, documents information, then uh, table is there. So we, we can retrieve the data from this table. There is a table for that HR documents of record archive. Whenever we say the archive tables, this archive tables we will find not only for document of records in global HR, we'll also find for procurement model to maintain the you know, requisitions, uh, archiving, purchase orders, archiving, and other information. 
So whenever you have some table name, which is having the word called archive, then that table is used to maintain the backup, backup of that particular information. Okay, this this table. Uh, if we want to query this table, what we will do is uh, we'll go for reports and analytics, and from there we can try to pick the data. Reports and analytics. Let's go for browse catalog and try to build the report here. Here we have to choose uh, database HCM. Sometimes what happened, few people will not choose this data source as a HCM, then that time it will show the error message. For example, if you choose this, uh, if you don't choose like this, then sometimes we may get error. This is the error we'll be getting. Prepare query failed like that, because we are supposed to choose exact source whether it is uh, finance supply chain management or human capital management or CRM, then internally system connects to that corresponding schema and try to pick the records from the database. Now we can find archive data here. We'll find general, if we have any data, we can find the document record, document code, name of the document issuing authority and other information we can find over here, okay? So that's that's one of the important question. Can we archive the document of records? Nothing but a backup after some time. It should automatically go into the particular archive folder. Then we can get. So if at all we want to view that archiving documents, we can build a BI reports or OTBI analysis. We can go for drag and drop and design the analysis or develop the BI report. Okay. Thank you.